Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a 2019 Turkish drama film directed and written by Leyla Yilmaz titled Not Knowing. It stars Senin Kara, Yerdair Okur, and Emir Uzdin. It focuses on the life of a family that is not satisfied with their lives. Selma and Shinan are a couple who now find it difficult to endure each other. Selma is a doctor who always listens to the complaints of her patients, while Shinan works as an engineer. But one day, his company makes a big change. Shinan's boss hands over the leadership to his nephew. He is younger and does not respect Shinan as a man older than him. However, he also gives Shinan a promotion. Shinan wants to call Selma to let her know the news, but she refuses the call. Selma meets her former lover who is also a lawyer. Shinan and Selma have been married for a long time, and have a 17-year-old son named Umut, who is a member of the water polo team. One day after school, he helps a boy who is being bullied. He touches his face to make sure he is okay. At home, Shinan complains to his wife about his younger boss and money, because soon Umut will go to college, and hopes that Umut can get a scholarship. Shinan then tells her to ask for an inheritance on the property left by her parents. Shinan endures daily intimidation from his new younger boss, whose demands lead him to drink heavily. At dinner, Umut tells that his coach praised him that day for his good game. His father is very proud of him. Umut then asks to allow him to join the training camp. Shinan initially objects because of the high costs, but finally he agrees for Umut. In the locker room, Umut's friends start asking him why he was never with a girl. Umut refuses to answer the question, and they spread rumors that maybe Umut is gay. Umut becomes unfocused in training and is constantly reprimanded by his coach. Selma visits her older brother Kamal. She pleasantly inquires about his family, then reveals her real purpose is to ask for a share of the inheritance from their parents. Kamal becomes angry and tells her to leave. Later, Selma messages her former lover on Facebook, and plans to meet him in secret. In his room, Umut is told by his best friend Tunk to check his email. The email contains a photo of Umut with the boy he had once helped. The angle of the photo makes it look like they're kissing. Umut is shocked and doesn't know what to say. That night he can't sleep thinking about it. Water polo members start bullying Umut. In the locker room, Burke tells Umut to admit that he is gay. Umut says he cannot make up a lie just because of a photo. Burke continues to pressure Umut, but Umut refuses to give an answer, because he has no right to ask him such a thing. Not only at school, but at home, Umut's parents also put pressure on him to get good grades at school so he can get a scholarship. The following day, Umut is not allowed to enter the locker room, because his friends do not want to change clothes with him. They ask again if Umut is gay. But Umut becomes annoyed, and he decides to skip the practice that day. Later, Umut's coach Attila asks him why he was not attending the practice. Umut cries and says that he wants to quit the team. Attila tries to understand Umut, and gives him a few days off to think about it. Water polo members protest to Attila to remove Umut from the team, because they feel uncomfortable being around Umut. Attila does not want to respond to their nonsense. Umut never said he is gay, and that is none of their business. Outside, they are gossiping about Attila who might be gay. Later, Tunk suggests that Umut meet with the boy he had helped to explain the situation. Umut does not want to prolong the existing problem. Tunk continues to pressure him to resolve the problem, and beats up Burke if he taunts him again. Umut gets annoyed, and tells him not to deal with this nonsense. Tunk asks him to tell him the truth if he is gay. But Umut becomes more and more annoyed, saying to stop pretending to be his best friend, because what he did was the same as what Burke did. One night, Umut expresses his intention to quit the water polo team, arguing that he cannot take the exam and water polo at the same time. He does not reveal the real reason to his parents. His parents keep forcing him to participate in water polo no matter what, because water polo is his future. They come home with Shinan drunk. In a drunken state, he complains about his work, and what he does is for Umut's good. That night, Umut receives a message from Burke harassing him. The next day, he beats up Burke, and takes his frustration out on everyone there, then he leaves. Umut is sitting alone on a beach, while occasionally shedding tears. He receives a phone call from Tunk, informing him that they will tell his parents about what happened to Burke. Umut then decides not to go home. After Umut disappeared, the water polo team makes a video for Umut. 
Attila says that being gay is none of anyone's business, and gays still have the right to live the way they want. Some of the water polo team want Umut to go home, and some still don't care about him. Shinan and Selma are devastated because of Umut. Kamal, Attila and Tung come there to show their support. They all sit in the living room waiting for the news about Umut. Shinan wonders the reason why they bullied Umut. Attila says what they did, they learned it from others. Kamal believes that it is easier to bully other people if they are in a group. Selma still can't forgive Umut's friends. Shinan hopes that his son will come home soon because that is all that matters to him. Everyone leaves without success in finding Umut, leaving Shinan and Selma alone. Shinan goes to Umut's room and finds his diary. He just realizes what his son had been going through all this time. Selma takes out her frustration on Shinan, who only drinks and always puts pressure on Umut. Selma reminds him that he wanted to kill the news presenter who said Umut was gay, but he didn't think what if Umut was really gay. Shinan replies that he just wants his son to come home. Their argument is stopped by a phone call. Shinan answers the call, and is told by the police that they had found a body, and they want him to identify the body. Shinan is devastated and hands the phone over to Selma. Selma hopes that the police can send a photo of the body, but the police cannot do so, because it is not possible to identify the body through photos. They drive to the hospital, without saying a word to each other. Upon arriving at the hospital, they are greeted by the police who take them to the morgue. They stand staring at the body, and the film ends without giving any explanation as to whether it really is Umut's body or not. Water polo player Umut lives in a family that is not satisfied with their lives. His parents Selma and Shinan find it difficult to endure each other, and Umut is after to prove himself. Then rumors start circulating that Umut is gay, which causes Umut to disappear without a trace. His parents are too busy with their problems to realize that something is wrong with Umut. Dealing with topics full of growing pain, homophobia, and bullying, the film reveals the interior lives of the characters completely through dialogue. The story is good and takes a direction I didn't see coming. It addresses a major issue affecting the gay community. The way homophobia and prejudice destroy the family is very effective. But there are many uncertainties surrounding this film, such as Umut never admitting whether he is gay or not, even the ending of the film is left hanging. Certain plot points are introduced and never fully explored. What's interesting about this film is the moral message, regarding someone's sexual orientation is their own business, and we have no right to judge them. Thanks for watching this video, make sure to subscribe, and turn on notification.